Our food, the red containers are Russian food containers, balloons are American, and those silver buckets are uh, various types of water containers for over here on the Russian side. Uh, this, by the way, over here, let me back up a little bit, sorry about the twisting around, but I forgot to show you this. Right over there is our hygiene station. This is where we take showers, kind of. Actually, it's just a glorified uh, sponge bath, basically. Um, but you don't get too smelly up here, so it actually works out just fine. Okay, let's head back up. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, now it's very easy to get a turn around. Sometimes I come up here and I don't know if the surface, which way is forward or which way is aft. So let me help you out here. Let's look over here. Okay, that's where we came from. That's the FGB. Now, coming this way. This is where we're going, the service module. This is the core living compartment on the Russian segment. And it's got all of our life support functions, all of the equipment that keeps the Russian segment occurring along, and back are its thrusters. And uh, it's got all the windows. That's why you see so many cameras here on the wall. This is the best place to take pictures. Take a look at the earth. Sergey finally changed the playlist today. He basically plays the same music, about same like dozen songs over and over uh, for about a week, and then he finally changed it to something else. Last week was all 80s tunes. This week it's the Stones. So it doesn't bother me at all. I think it's kind of funny. So going back. Okay. Here's our little dining table. I'll be showing you eating a uh, meal time sometime in the future and uh, all the weird things that go along with it. But there are two sleep stations here in the app. This one over here on the right is Yuri's. It's nice and neat. This one over here on the left is mine. And you can see the door right there. And on the door, a little bit. On the door is my hygiene kit from Russia. It's actually really handy. I got my chopsticks, my deodorant, my toothbrush. Let's take a look inside, shall we? Now, I didn't clean up or anything, as will be immediately obvious. I want to show you what it's really like, kind of that lived-in look. So you're seeing immediately the best part of the whole experience of living over here in the Russian segment, which is the fact that you have a window. And this gives you this gives you a side view looking out in the earth. Let me zoom in here. Take a look at the earth. And it's really a different perspective. Hello Earth. And you can really get a feel for how thin our atmosphere is. If I could focus. Okay, there we go. So you can see down there, there's the, the clouds extend up to, you know, as high as 60,000 feet or so. And then you got a little bit more atmosphere on top of that, and then it's just space. But that's it. I mean, if you look how big the planet is, if it could focus. There we go. Look how big the planet is, and just that thin little layer is all you get as far as breathing gas. It's pretty scary. Just a little sliver. 
there's one of the solar rays. It's amazing that uh, their rays are so big, they reach all the way back here. I don't know if I could show you how far forward. There's one of the solar rays on the service module, and that's all they'll show you. But when that array is rotated up and you poke your head all the way over to the side, you can actually see the uh, you can actually see the truss from here too. So it's neat, very neat indeed. And one of the other cool features is it's got this handy little shutter, ah, which is totally funky. Looks like something out of Jules Verne, which coincidentally is right in the next module. Let's get this open. Okay, here we go. There it goes. So there's your window shutter. That's when it's time to go to sleep, I close it. The rest of the time, I keep it open. I close that thing. Okay, so just going around. I got a nice mirror, nice vent for fresh air up there. The computer here, which has got all kinds of neat little gizmos on it, like world map, for example, that shows us where we are. Let's see where we are, shall we? looks like right now we're right over Europe. Holy cow. Let's see if we see anything. Looks like it's about just about sunset over Europe, so it's kind of hard. Just the best time to see things on the ground is during the day. And here's another typical pitfall of uh, trying to see things on the ground. A lot of times it's cloudy. <laughs> and we're right smack over Europe, but can't really tell. C'est la vie. So, back to our little tour of the Cayuta, huh? So, one of the nice things about the computer here is that I could bring that... See, the wires all actually come from inside the Cayuta, so at night I bring it inside, stick it up here in the mirror, and then I could do email, uh, which is uh, a perpetual challenge trying to keep up with that. Uh, I'm failing miserably at it. I could uh, look at world map, I could process the uh, images, pictures I take, and uh, I can... Uh, uh, talk on the phone. We use a computer and this little headset, you see I got this headset plugged in with a microphone on it to run a program just like Skype or any other VOIP. We have a similar program and that's how I make phone calls and uh, can call people on the ground. Which has been really nice. So just looking around up here, I got my Giants hat. That's, the, that's my name tag, if you will, on my patch that I wore. Uh, on my orange suit when we launched in the shuttle. I carried it with me and just stuck it here over my sleep station. Let's see, what else do we have here? Oh, I keep some snacks down here. Of course, candy corn right there, and juji fruits right there. And then this is not really a snack. Let's see if we can read it. Nice Russian food. It is appetizing appetizer. Yes. Yeah. Yum, yum. Here's my Yankees hat. Signed by Roger Clemens, the rocket himself. Sleeping bag. That's it. So. Sometime later, I'll give you a demonstration of what it's like to go to sleep in space, but we use these little bungee cords. This is like the elastic band. And that's just my pants. I just tuck them behind those and my shirt just to tuck them behind my bungee cords there for convenience. But those bungee cords push us against the wall and make you kind of feel like you're in a bed. It sort of works. It makes it a little bit easier to fall asleep, kind of. All right. So that is it for now. That's my Cayuta. And I've enjoyed living there. i got only a couple more nights, and then I'll be moving over temporarily to Columbus while we have our visiting Soyuz crew. And then I'll be moving over into the lab, where there's a sleep station I'll show you some other time, while I'll be staying for the rest of my uh, mission. So that's it. All right. Here you will do it by yourself. Okay. okay. Yep.